Hello, in this video, we're going to look at the Moore Penrose pseudo inverse, uh, sometimes just called the pseudo inverse, and sometimes just called the Moore Penrose inverse. It all kind of means the same thing. Um, background for this video, we're going to need these two videos, which I talk about the singular value decomposition. And so I'd recommend watching those if you're unfamiliar with the singular value decomposition. Now, to be a pseudo inverse, first we're going to denote it by A plus, and then it has to meet these four conditions. In previous videos I did, we looked at the generalized inverse, which only had to meet one, and so sometimes you can call it a one inverse, and then if it's a symmetric matrix, and then we look at the generalized inverse, it also meets this reflexive property. And we looked at a least squares inverse, which met a property one and three. And so the least squares inverse is often called a one, three inverse. And this pseudo inverse is sometimes called a one, two, three, four inverse because it meets all four of these conditions. And there, there are more properties than this. Um, the, you know, and so they just keep inventing more properties than they call it like a one, two, five inverse. And, you know, they have different properties and names and et cetera. But here we're going to look at the pseudo inverse or the more Penrose inverse. And everything that we did with a generalized inverse or a least squares inverse, you can also do this because this meets those requirements or those conditions. So let's look at a theorem. Let's let A be an N by M matrix. And then a unique pseudo inverse called A plus exists for A. So really there's two properties. One, that the pseudo inverse exists. And then two, that it's unique. So let's look at existence first. And if A is the zero matrix, then the pseudo inverse is the zero matrix. And it satisfies these requirements. Kind of trivial. And so we're going to assume that A is not zero. And it has rank R. Now, from background video two, there exist matrices P, which is N by R, and Q, which is N by R, and a, a, a delta matrix R by R that's diagonal, such that the P and the Q are orth orthogonal, and A can be decomposed into P delta Q prime. And again, delta is diagonal. Now, what we're proposing here is that the pseudo inverse is Q delta inverse P prime, and that's a comma. Then what we're going to show is this uh, pseudo inverse A plus f uh, meets all these requirements. So the first property, A, A plus A, if we plug in the singular value decomposition in for A, and then this is our proposed pseudo inverse, and this is A again, then Q prime Q is the identity, P prime P is the identity matrix because they're orthogonal and then we're left with this. And then delta A prime is the identity matrix. So it goes away and we're left with this. And then according to the singular value decomposition, that's A. So property one holds. Now property two, we're gonna look at A plus A, A plus. So we plug in the pseudo inverse, the uh, a from the singular value decomposition and the pseudo inverse and then we start reducing P is the orthogonal so that's the identity Q is the orthogonal identity we're left with this delta inverse delta is the identity so it reduces to this Q delta inverse P prime but that's what we're calling the pseudo inverse so property 2 or condition 2 is met now let's look at whether A A plus is symmetric so we plug in the SVD, the singular value decomposition for A, and then we plug in this for our pseudo inverse. Q prime Q is identity, delta, delta inverse the identity, and we're left with PP prime. But this is symmetric. If you take the transpose of this, you get it back. And so if this is equal to a symmetric matrix, well then it must be symmetric. So condition three holds. Now A plus A, we plug in our pseudo inverse, our SVD for A, and then, th and then we reduce. This is the identity, delta inverse, delta is the identity. We're left with Q, Q prime, which is symmetric itself. And so that implies that A plus A is also symmetric. 
So therefore, our proposed pseudo inverse Q delta inverse P prime is a pseudo inverse. So one does exist. And so slash slash, we've proved one part or component of this theorem. Next, we need to prove uh, uniqueness, that if you have two pseudo inverses for the same matrix, then those pseudo inverses equal. So let's let A1 plus and A2 plus be pseudo inverses for matrix A. And now let's look at pseudo inverse 1. And by property 2, it's this. And now we're going to start using the uh, properties 1, 2, 3, and 4 over and over again. So A, because A2 plus, A2 plus is a pseudo inverse, it equals this. Now, the, these two matrices, you know, this matrix product and this matrix products are um, symmetric, you know, by property three, and actually we just proved it. We can take the transpose of it and it doesn't change it. Now we can distribute that transpose and then you have to reverse the order of the matrices and then we get this. And then, of course, the A1 plus comes down. Now, um, here we have A, A1 in plus, A1 inverse A. So this right here is just A transpose, and that's what this is. And the, these two matrices just carry over. Now, we can take kind of take that transpose out, and, we're, and then we're left with A, A2 plus transpose, but then that's a symmetric matrix, so we just get this back. Now we look at this piece here, A1 plus, you know, A is symmetric by property four. So we can take the transpose and it doesn't change it. Now let's distribute that transpose and we get this. Now A by property two can be written like this because A2 plus is a pseudo inverse. And then we distribute that uh, transpose but we do it in a way that um, we, we keep these two together and then that and so that's why it's a 2 plus transpose a a transpose now here so if we look at these three mates well let's do this let's go down one so th these two matrices you, we can untranspose it, and, and you know, so so we group them and then transpose it, and that's what this piece does. So th this comes down. Remember, this is symmetric, so we can take the transpose away, and then we untranspose it, and then a two comes down. But this is symmetric, so we can take it away, and then we know that a a one plus A is A by property one. So we can just put in an A there. But A2 plus A, A2 plus by property uh, two is just A2 plus. So actually we've just shown that these two pseudo inverses are equal. So any two pseudo inverses for the same matrix is unique. And therefore, you know, since A1 plus and A2 plus you know, equal, then they're, and they're unique. And so that we've pr shown that. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Uh, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.